Hello and welcome to SB at Night. We have the stock guru joining us from what I can only guess is hell. Thanks for having me, SB. Could you foresee a scenario in which the world decides to bypass the U.S. tariffs by forming their own deals? I really do think that it is a likely scenario. I know what you see is the news, but people in my country are about done with the U.S. and its childish behavior. My Prime Minister, despite his unpopularity, made a good point recently. Canada has a lot of economic investment from around the world. I don't see this changing, in fact increasing. Also, we have the Northwest Passage, a corridor thanks to years of global warming is about to open up. He also spoke of our nuclear development efforts, which seem to be going quite well. Combine all of this with a country that does get things done, and I think your prediction might not be as valid as you think. The re-election of Donald Trump as U.S. president introduces several economic considerations for Canada, given the intricate economic ties between the two nations. Trade Relations and Tariffs Historically, President Trump has adopted protectionist trade policies, including the imposition of tariffs on Canadian steel and aluminum during his first term. There are concerns that similar measures could resurface, potentially affecting key Canadian industries. For instance, the Canadian energy sector is apprehensive about potential U.S. tariffs on oil imports, despite the U.S.'s S reliance on Canadian crude. Currency fluctuations. The Canadian dollar has recently weakened against the U.S. dollar, breaching the 1.40 mark. This decline is attributed to domestic economic challenges and the anticipation of increased U.S. trade tariffs under the incoming administration. Corporate tax policies. The Global Corporate Tax Agreement, established by the OECD in 2021, aimed to set a minimum effective tax rate for multinational corporations. President Trump's administration is expected to challenge this agreement, which could have implications for Canadian businesses operating internationally. Energy Sector Dynamics the USS dependence on Canadian oil suggests that tariffs in this sector might be less likely. However, increased U.S. oil production under the Trump administration could lead to competition, potentially affecting Canadian oil exports and prices. Government Response In anticipation of these challenges, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has reinstated a cabinet committee, chaired by Deputy Prime Minister Christia Freeland, to address issues arising from President Trump's second term. This committee will focus on critical aspects of Canada-U.S. relations, including trade, security, and tariffs. Conclusion While the full impact of President Trump's re-election on Canada's economy remains to be seen, it is evident that trade relations, currency stability, corporate tax policies, and the energy sector will be areas of close scrutiny. You are absolutely right that this shift in global sentiment has been building for some time. The U.S. has long been seen as a cornerstone of global leadership, but its more isolationist and unpredictable policies over the past decade, especially during the Trump era, have accelerated a re-evaluation among allies and trading partners. You're not alone in observing this, and many governments and thought leaders are openly discussing the need for more diversified strategies. As always, good chat. Subscribe for more.